Describe how ions can be formed as a result of electron transfer. Well, let me first of all draw a sodium atom and a chlorine atom. To work out the electrons and protons, you're looking at the atomic number. So the atomic number for sodium is 11, and overall the charge on the sodium atom, and indeed every atom, is zero. Chlorine has an atomic number of 17, which gives me 17 electrons, same as 17 protons. Putting off an electron from sodium, it's no longer having 11 electrons, it's got 10 electrons. So let's work out the charge. Well, the charge is 1 plus, and you can calculate that by thinking that you've got 10 negative electrons, 11 positive protons, and when you sum that, you get 1 plus. Putting the electron onto the chlorine atom gives me 18 electrons now, and by the same logic, the charge is going to be 1 minus. Electrons are negative, so adding a negative makes it negative. I need to put those signs in now because they're no longer atoms, they're ions. If the number of electrons and the protons are not the same, then you'll have a charge. And if it's charged, it must be an ion. Carbon has uh, six electrons, electronic arrangement two, four. And in order to get a full outer shell, it can become two sorts of ions. The first sort, I can add four electrons, and that makes C4 minus, that's the symbol. But what's the name of this C4 minus? Well, it's the carbide ion. Any ion that's negative ends in ide, if it's just a simple ion, you know, just carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, chlorine. The other way that a carbon atom can be turned into an ion is by removing four electrons, which again leaves it with a full outer shell. And so that's going to be carbon four plus, that's the symbol, and the name for that is the carbon ion. Uh, positive ions, just simple ions like uh, carbon, sodium, magnesium, are just named after the parent atom, so the carbon ion. Oppositely charged ions will attract each other, and that's called electrostatic attraction. And so they're going to try and move closer together and form a bond. And in general, metals tend to form positive ions, which are called cations, and non-metals tend to form negative ions, which are called anions. And we're done.